What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is American Things Europeans Find Weird. Uh, we haven't checked this one out yet, have we? No, it's um, a new one. A new one, but I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to potentially some of the others we've yeah, seen. Yeah, it seems like the same vibe, doesn't it? Yeah, hopefully there is something new in there which we haven't seen before, but I'm guessing that like, the tipping's going to come up, I'm guessing sales tax is going to come up. Yeah. Stuff along them lines. Um, if it is the same, then it's just refreshed our mind, I yeah, guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's a new video which we haven't seen, and this yeah. channel does have other similar videos. Yeah, and it's been a while since we did one like this, I think. Yes, it? definitely. Uh, so hopefully it's a refresh and some new stuff yeah. which comes in. In it um if you guys enjoy this kind of content smash the like button smash the subscribe button as well you absolute to legends but till she appreciate that if you notice we're a little bit tired i think we are aren't we just a little bit yeah a little bit tired it's been a long week it's been a long week we, we did all our traveling on monday straight into work hasn't it and uh, i tell you what i had a nap today <laughs> i got yeah. in I, I played golf this morning i got in and i literally had about a four or five hour power nap and um we're up for it so i do really enjoy these videos uh, but yeah, if we are lacking on the energy, you guys know why. But I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's check out American Things Europeans Find Weird. What we got. If you've ever seen Quentin Tarantino's hit movie Pulp Fiction, you'll know it opens with a scene in which Samuel Jackson no, shows his surprise regarding the legality of cannabis smoking in Holland and the fact that the French eat their fries with mayonnaise. Ugh, is his reaction to the use of such a condiment. They do? Well, I do. we can tell you... <laughs> Wait, you, you I like mayonnaise, I'll catch up. I'll eat ketchup, but sometimes I'll have mayonnaise. You know what? I, I do too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why, I know why so you're shocked. looking. You eat mayonnaise more than me. No, I love a bit of mayonnaise, but I don't have it. If I had chips at home, you'd just I, eat chips. I'd have chips, and I'd prefer ketchup. Yeah. But I tell you what, Burger King, their mm. chips. I always have mayo. Do you? I always rip the bag. If I have a chicken mayo, I rip the bag after, put my chips on, and I I do the little do a squeeze thing of the mayo mm. of the little sachet yeah. you got. Always mayo, and it is gorgeous. Yeah. See, like at the like the um, cafe at work, I'll always have. Like wedges or chips with mayonnaise. Yeah, and to Always. be fair, think about it. I only do it for Burger King. I kind of need to do it for more because they are yeah. stunning. Mayonnaise is underrated. Oh, it is so is. Let us know what you guys think. Chips or mayonnaise? What do you reckon? Let us know. Ugh works both ways, and there are plenty of things Americans eat, do, believe, and say that Europeans find plain weird. Today, we'll look at some of those things in this episode of the Infographic Show, American Things Europeans Find Weird. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. We'll Same stay here. with food and restaurants for the time being. As we've discussed in other shows, not everyone in the world is so draconian about tipping. In fact, in some parts of Europe, throwing a buck on the counter after receiving a cold beer would be totally insulting. In many European countries, tipping in some situations can be seen as charity. When visiting the US, many Europeans might find it weird that a waiter or waitress keeps coming back to your table. In the States, it may be seen as just good service, but to some Europeans, it could be construed as someone getting in the way of a good meal. That meal, by the way, could be about three times larger than many people in Europe are used to. In general, American food portions look to some Europeans like they are supposed to feed two people. It may also seem like an act of largesse to some Europeans when someone keeps refilling their glass of soda or cup of coffee for no extra cost. In terms of the food itself, as we noted earlier, Americans... I mean, just on that, I know we've talked about tipping a lot. Yeah. Um, and like the whole table tipping we do so that but i've never tipped someone at a bar never no that, that is something very foreign to me yeah we do tip at restaurants here. restaurants yeah always tip at restaurants uh, maybe a little bit de like delivery drivers we yeah tip. only a couple quid but yeah. we, we, we tip at oh, least i don't think ever oh uh, yeah i don't think i've ever gone up like especially like the bars pub or pub. we go to though like we we go out like on like a busy weekend if we go out don't we and they're too busy trying to get the next person the as soon as they give you it they go but even off. in a general pub like today after golf we went in and had a pint yeah, it never weird, never crossed my it? mind no. to uh, to tip it's it's thing you don't do over it it's not just something i've gone i don't want to do it no it just doesn't no one does it yeah no one does it so let us know every time like you just go up and buy a one-off drink for you and your mates or whatever then you, you go in somewhere else yeah but i feel tip? like in america the because of the wage oh it's, definitely it's, for us here they get paid a decent enough wage yeah. it's not like a big thing here but uh for them, obviously, their wage No, definitely. Isn't... And with the food thing, again, which is why you guys yeah. tip more than us, even yeah. though we do tip. But it just, I've never thought about it as like going up to a bar and doing it that way. Drink and then just giving yeah, it, I've yeah. never thought about it like that. Let us know in the comments. I imagine you do, because you guys love to tip, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, but I've just, yeah, so no, fallen yeah. to me, that is. Europeans have very different ideas about what goes with what. Pancakes for breakfast with fried chicken? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we learned that the other day. <laughs> and what about putting honey on bacon for breakfast? The Frenchman wanted mustard with his sliced beef and tasted something not like mustard, but a sweeter version with less bite. 
The Italian went to Chicago and in one restaurant ordered a pizza, only to be served what he thought looked more like a quiche or a cake. <laughs> so, what about when Europeans head to the store? Again, the rather affable smile and general friendliness of staff may seem strange to someone from grumpy England, where service with a smile is certainly no guarantee. In fact, Grumpy England? I wow! Guess, hey, like, I, mean, I, I tell you what, there is some mood here. Yeah, if you Definitely. go, yeah. But to I be feel fair, like... even yesterday I said to you after my round of golf that the person who I saw, he it was just, so moody. It was so moody in his own world and just like, but, 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 there you go. I thought like, that's oh, a, have a good day, mate. A big <laughs> statement to make, though. Oh, he's only having a little bit of a laugh. Because, like, I feel like sometimes, well, sometimes I go to the shop and, like, you can tell that they just, they're just there for their job. They're just yeah, there. They are, yeah. But some people, like, you, you notice that actually really love their job. Oh yeah, definitely. I think it was more of a, more of a joke as well. Yeah. Not, not just it a statement. In <laughs> fact, it's been remarked that American friendliness can result in some Europeans thinking something suspicious is afoot. If that European is in the store to buy a pack of cigarettes or a bottle of wine, they may be extremely surprised when they get asked for ID, as that might not have happened to them for over a decade or two. On top of Europe mainly having laxer laws on age restrictions, IDing people is not such a big deal as it is in America. Only in July this year, Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher said he was ID'd in the US after trying to buy cigarettes. He tweeted, I've just wow. been told I can't buy cigs unless I got ID. I'm 40 freaking 4. Has the world gone mad? Indeed, in his home city of Manchester, he'd probably been buying his smokes for 30 years without a problem. Probably. Probably. And the European looks inside his or her wallet, only to see a bunch of notes that all look the same, all the time wondering how this could possibly make any sense. The good thing is, in America, you can pay with plastic just about anywhere, which is something many Europeans are still not used to. They may also be unpleasantly surprised to find- I feel like a lot of our smaller stores are like pop-up ones are cash only and i think since covid they've changed covid since covid since covid yeah. of course it used to COVID, be cash it was like no one carried cash either there's like a part where no one carried definitely cash. and it used to be a struggle but you know yeah. like, cash you can avoid tax with cash and stuff like that taxes yeah. are definitely amazing but since covid it's been card, card all the way hasn't card it only, a lot yeah. of places don't actually accept cash anymore no. do they no find out when they do buy something taxes get added on top of the price they saw so they try and get back to their hotel but have to ask the way they are told to walk six blocks this way and turn left only for some europeans not familiar with the u.s giving someone directions using blocks may seem weird parts of europe yeah were not i can never with figure that out in, in mind and just gradually I, I liked it to be fair it was just so but simple you knew exactly what you were talking about and what was going on i mean it, let us know in the comments but it is pretty once you look at a map you just see that's a block and it pretty much the avenues went one to i don't know what number it went up to but we were avenue seven weren't we yeah um so we're seven with broadway in between I and mean, then your streets just went up i was like it's it, it's a simple yeah, way of doing I'll it just let you tell me where i, I liked it it <laughs> weren't it were common sense pretty much it weren't Thanks. odd but you didn't have a proper look you just let me do it didn't you yeah i didn't do any of that <laughs> we would have ended in up in a way anywhere. that makes it hard to find your way around <laughs> when they finally do get back they settle down to watch some TV, only for some reason the shows are interspersed with commercials that seem to be longer than the actual minutes given to the actual content. This drives some Europeans crazy. At some point, they might come across World Wrestling Entertainment and be quite confused at how some Americans can get so worked up about what to them looks like an act with an ending already scripted. You may have to- <laughs> I don't mind it to be fair. I can see why you guys enjoy it. I don't watch it, but I can see why people enjoy it. Mm. I watch it every so often, um, but I don't I, exactly I follow don't, it. I've never- I've watched like- one or two little bits. I don't think it's your never, cup of tea, is it? No. But um, I, yeah, it, it is because it is basically wrestling, which is scripted before. It's like, they're, yeah, they're not doing it. It's not like... They're not actually punching yeah. each other in the face. They may be clipping and a, a lot of the moves they do will, will actually hurt. I'm not saying it's easy one bit. Yeah. Uh, but it, they're told you've what got to a do proper who's going to win. You know who's going to win and it is kind of just like improv acting yeah. on there because you can't plan yeah. what's going to happen and then eventually have the winner. It's but you know who's going to win. It's like... I mean, it's a sport in its own right, but it's interesting that it's so popular, knowing that it's not not that it's fake, but that it's no, it's entertainment though, isn't it? It's it is entertaining yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. yeah, if you enjoy it, then fair play to be an American to enjoy that kind of drama with such passion. Turn over to the news, and depending on the channel, this may also look something like a drama or a soap opera to a European. They may easily believe they are watching a news satire. One of the great things in America, though, for some Europeans at least, is the fact that some things are open 24-7. Can't sleep? Just go out. Shopping hours are relatively quite <laughs> restrictive in many European nations, but in most places in the US or near a big city, there is always something to do or buy in the middle of the night. In Europe, the BBC reported that London, England, and six cities in 
Spain were the better 24-hour cities. Now we'll visit the sensitive issues of religion and patriotism. World Atlas puts America at the top of the list as the most Christian nation in the world. In the US, on any given day, you might hear the word God or at least see signs pointing to where you might find him. While parts of Europe are also predominantly Christian, the omnipresence of God in the streets may seem a little overbearing to many of these nations that have forgone church duty. It's the same with flags everywhere. You won't go far in America without seeing the stars and stripes, Except whereas in Europe, flags, flags are usually designated to the top of poles outside of official buildings. Mm -hmm. Seeing one plan- You want one? I want one for our house. I think they are pretty cool. Again, we don't really do it over here, do they? But why not? No, why not? I mean, we've got the Jersey flag. But yeah, we actually do on this house because uh, um, we live with our parents, don't yeah. we? Uh, well, with my parents, sorry. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not yours you don't have as the well, same parents with, with my us. parents. That sounded a bit wrong. Um, <laughs> but we'd have a flag. I think, yeah, we'll, we'll get a flag one day, won't we? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty awesome, to be fair. Planted in a garden may induce a traveling European to believe that he is at the house of a hardcore nationalist, not just someone who is proud of where he comes from. Interesting side note a 2014 survey revealed the most patriotic country in the world was Thailand, closely followed mm. by the USA. While it may not seem too weird for Europeans, the fact that some people in the states carry firearms might be scary. Per capita, more people in the states own guns than any other country. While most cops in Europe do carry guns. About going oh, America. just knowing there's guns. Knowing about. that, I mean, anyone could pull it out. Yeah. At any second. I guess you just gotta trust them, aren't you? You just gotta but trust them. But you can't them. not go anywhere. It's the same it. as it's the same as being in London. Someone pulling out a knife. Yeah. It's, it's not exactly the same. But it's that kind I of principle. In too. You can't trust. <laughs> yeah, you did. To be fair. I'm from Jersey. Um, though, and Jersey, Jersey is, so is a sheltered, very safe though. and sheltered. So like. It, Whenever we go back to where you're from, I always get scared. Yeah, like you don't want to go through a dog. And I'm like, but I went through this when I was 11. No, and you were yeah, like, I won't nope, go anywhere. Can't do it. There's no loads of people. <laughs> I can't. But yeah, it's just, you just got to have a little bit of trust, aren't you? Um, if it's out yeah, of your you control. Yeah, you can't be scared, can you, the whole time? If it's going to happen, it's going to happen regardless of. Yeah, if it's out of your control, there's something you can do is that you can plan a certain amount. But end of the day, you can't control it, so you just got to get on with life, haven't you? Yeah. It's unusual to see a cop in England, Scotland, or Wales carrying a gun. The fact that regular Joes might be carrying a firearm seems fairly weird to many Europeans. It might not seem so strange to Serbians, who also have a high rate of guns owned per person. Size also matters to Europeans when traveling in the States. In America, everything just seems bigger, and not just the aforementioned dishes. The roads and streets seem larger for the most part, and if you don't have a car, it can seem hard to get anywhere, especially in a place like LA. The cars themselves seem a lot bigger, large enough to crush Mr. Bean in his mini, and the people inside them also seem big on average, if not taller, than wider on average. The skyscrapers are taller, and in general, American houses statistically have a lot American more space houses. than the average European house. One survey stated that the Danish had the most living space in Europe, still much less than Americans, but much more than the Brits, that to Americans might seem their whole house is smaller than their basement. It may not be that weird, but one might ask why everything is so big in the US. As for appearance, some Europeans Europeans may find the amount of Americans that are continually decked in what looks like gym wear a bit strange as most are not going to the gym. Other styles that are mostly an 80s thing but seem to have stayed around a little are the big hairstyles and some older American women. Big lips and big breasts may also be a fashion weird to some Europeans, while in the USA the president still seems to sport a fake tan. On the positive side, Americans all seem to have such perfect white teeth, quite different from those Brits. This was hilariously the- Yeah, let's shout out to our bad teeth apparently. We, we got good gnashes, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not showing yours. It's just made that really awkward. <laughs> we did an episode of The Simpsons in which the big book of British smiles horrifically demonstrated the apparent lack of dental hygiene in the country. So, what do you Europeans out there find strange about Americans? And Americans, what do you think is weird about Europeans? Let us know in the comments. See you next time. Let us know. Ooh. I go to sleep with... Let us know on this video. I was so confused what was happening then. Um, yeah, some new ones in there, weren't there? Yeah, I didn't find them, any of them, like, weird. I feel like we've been say, exposed that much, but though. But I feel like, yeah, if I'd have watched this without ever going to America, learning about America, You'd then be quite I'd be shocked. Like, what is this all about? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. But yeah. I, can, I, yeah, I can see why other people potentially yeah. got weird out. Um, we'd seen a lot of it, but it was new things, yeah. which is uh, an angle which we hadn't really thought yeah. of and stuff like that. Um, I feel like um, the more of these videos we watch, the more I want to be American. <laughs> like, was, yeah, everything just, just looks better. Right yeah, now. bigger, better, <laughs> and a great time yeah. as well. Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button. Smash that subscriber as well, you absolute legend. We'd seriously appreciate that. Over 60k, absolutely mental, isn't it? So uh, thank you guys so, so much. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.